Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to share with you a beautiful orchid I have. He's one of my favorites, one of my top 10, and I love the way he's mounted. I just did a video on my miniature hanging orchid garden there, and I seen him in the background, and I thought, you know what, he's looking wonderful right now. And this is kind of a miniature orchid, or a miniature hanging garden as well. Um, so this plant is called a Bacchary or a Barcaria spectabilis. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this tag there. But there he is. Beautiful plant. I've had him for many, many years. He um, flowers for me once a year. And he's slowly, ever so slowly, getting bigger. Um, interesting plant, too, because he is a, a deciduous plant. In the fall, he drops his leaves. He goes dormant and then comes out in the spring with some new foliage and flowers. Flowers are lightly scented. Kind of remind me of Cattleya-type flowers. Really quite pretty. I really like this plant. And so it is just on a piece of, it looks like oak or maybe arbutus bark. And I actually got this from a, a fellow orchid grower many, many years ago. And it came on this um, piece. Now for all I know is it was already mounted on there when he got it as well. The good thing about um, whatever kind of wood it is, the, the, it's very dense. It's not like fir bark where it's breaking down at all. The roots themselves just barely cling to the bark. You can see them sort of wrapping around here. And we'll get to the air plant in a second. But they mainly just, they hang down, almost like Vanda roots. So, good growing tips on them. We're in the growing season now for this. So you can see the, the growth tips coming out of them. And yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to share him. And so the other thing I did when I got this, the plant was quite small. So I put on an air plant. And this air plant has been with me and with this plant for many years as well. And it started quite small and I grew it to an adult size. And it actually bloomed, I think it was last year, maybe the year before. This is the old bloom spike on the air plant. Unfortunately, the tag for the air plant is long since gone. Um, I can't remember what it is. Um, Sorry for you air plant guys that are really looking for the name of this. It goes very, very red when it's about to bloom. And it is about to bloom now. I can see there's a, like a little stalk coming up on this more wiggly part right here. So it is going to bloom for me again this year. Color's starting to go red. But yeah, there's a bloom spike. And the old plant has just sort of faded down on the, the side of it here. And the new plant has come up the middle. And it's looking really good. So as a combination, as a hanging garden, I thought this would go with my theme for today of, of shooting hanging gardens and yeah so we can enjoy this this once a year this guy blooms for me and I've never actually noticed that he has a scent before it's um it's an early morning and it's a cooler day the sun's not shining so the, the greenhouse isn't that hot today it's probably only 70 75 Fahrenheit or about um 22 24 Celsius and just a lovely like almost like powdery scent to him but yeah, let's have one more close-up of the flowers because I just like to see the flowers and it looks really cool right now. When I'm not um, filming myself, I have a lot more control over the camera and I can get close-up zooms and stuff like that and make sure the focus is correct. But for um, this video, we just get to look at them like this. So I wouldn't want to call this guy a must-have miniature orchid like some of the plants that I do, but he's definitely um, a cool orchid to have in your collection. Super easy. Uh, I really, for watering, he goes bone dry a lot and doesn't seem to mind it at all. I do give him a misting once or so a day. And it is very humid in the greenhouse, so the, the roots are absorbing some humidity as, you know, as we speak. I wouldn't want to grow him like this just in a, a dry house. And yeah, what else can I tell you? Care tips, he's on the cool side of the greenhouse. He likes it quite shady. Come fall, his leaves turn yellow. They drop off. I don't water him from, from Halloween to Valentine's Day. He's one of those guys. Um, once I start to see new growth appearing, then I start to water again. And he really, he has three growth points. But, you know, for every, every year that he, um, that he grows a new bulb, they, I'm very hard pressed to get two bulbs out of them. I think this year I got two bulbs out of the one side, but the other growth points just had one bulb each as usual. So he doesn't get very big very fast. The old bulbs are all right around him, and it was really just um, one bulb kind of 
goes dormant and then the next bulb comes up. He, he's not um, a very fast multiplier, I guess is the um, word I'm looking for. But yeah, there we go. I'm going to hang him back up where he belongs. He lives right back here. And I hope you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, updates on my plants, greenhouse tours, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.